Good morning. This is uh, Monday, March 22nd. This is a Pershing County Board of Commissioners meeting, budget workshops, and this meeting is called to order. Public input, no action may be taken on a matter raised under this item of the agenda until the matter itself has been specifically included in, a, in an agenda on as an item upon what action will be taken. Public commentary will generally be limited to three minutes per person. Seeing no public, we'll move into the first item, which is the senior center. So that's multicolored tab nine. <clears throat> that grant money from the city didn't hit the books yet. I haven't seen anything yet. I thought I saw the check come through. It, it came through. You know, we sent them that letter right. and, and then uh, they did send the check. Is is that from their tariff funds or something? The What's three, that? The 3,000. It's that, their city's contribution. Every year? Yes. Yeah. So they're only doing 3,000. That's all they ever done. Yeah, yeah, and see, that's where they really should be putting in more because most of the people are from the city. We haven't received it yet, Larry, unless it comes oh, really? on Friday because it's not posted to the GM. I didn't think I had seen it. Hmm. I know we requested it, but I haven't seen it. Okay. Okay. So you're thinking, Carol, we need to take more? Is there any way of going back on, well, I know there is, on those hundred and some people and telling us how many are city and how many are county? Yeah. Okay, yeah. if you can do that, then we can get a percentage okay. and we can look and see. And well, I know that they're not- It's definitely it a big number. Yeah, that there's more city than there is county. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, that would be great. Thank you. Yeah. I don't really see. Whoa. Who am I missing? So, reading the deficit where it says for next year 77,670, that's because you don't have all the grants in, or no? That's two of them. That means you have more revenue in them. It takes it by department. Though. Okay. So, I would even want that. Okay. It's just how the, the budget worksheet is copied. You know, a lot of this year's numbers are down, of course. So, oh, it's, sure. but they're they're going to come back. Do you guys have grants applications for next year already? Yes. Done. The uh, but one of them was just returned to them. Uh, I mean, maybe a month ago. Haven't had heard, haven't heard back on that one yet. Okay, when you do here, we probably I'll need copies of it because these PC admin costs are all part of that line item on the grant application. And that's whatever's on that application for next year should be what we have here. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So I and I, I think, think I think I think this is an estimate, but if it comes to be different, we should change oh, it. Oh and they looked 
fairly close. Consistent. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, we have, which we've talked about a little bit, I, I asked for funding to replace the uh, walk in freezer condenser unit. Yeah. I uh, haven't heard back yet. Uh, and of course, and we talked about that too. But what we're talking about is replacing the condenser unit. Yeah. Sort of, that goal that we have fixed all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and there may be some other funding if the state funding doesn't come through. The other thing that I have or didn't put on here in uh, capital outlay, I don't know if it's capital, anyway, we have an issue going on with our uh, printer scanner. And whatever reason, you know, Justin knows about it. He's uh, give us some things. I brought one that they make cleaner sheets. You run through the printer to hopefully clean them up. What it does is it at the bottom of each page, it wrinkles it. And you can't send a document like that to the state. So I either have to come over to Ryan's office. Last time I went over to Karen's office. And then last weekend, I did it myself and back home. So we may end up having to buy a printer scanner. I don't know. But that won't be 3000 so oh, no, small no, equipment. No. no, it's in that bottom one. Mm -hmm. So do we need to put in small equipment? Yeah, really. I think we should have it in there. It's just because yes. we don't know what's going to happen. If we can't get it fixed, and the bad part is it isn't that old. So what a thousand? What I think that would be a high number. Well, I, I'm just I don't know. Number. Huh? Um, Five hundred, yeah, probably around there. Is that? Have you had yours priced to replace yours? Five hundred. Okay. So we'll, in small equipment, we'll put 500 okay. for a um, so printer in case. we make that small equipment under 009000, where there's no department because... Um, under which one? It's not going to be for dining room or homebound or transportation, so it should be in the department O O O. Yeah, that's that's uh, and we don't have anything there. So mm -hmm. Would you say five hundred? Mm -hmm. Does the printer <clears throat> have my printer has a thing where you can clean the printer head? But I don't know why if that's usually if it doesn't print right. Oh, you mean it doesn't self clean? Yeah, but I, you've got a wrinkle in the paper when it comes out. Yeah. Yeah, like the um, and it's not document. readable. Yeah, there's a, and sometimes you have to by pen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is because they won't. Touch. It has the. It's a problem with the rollers or whatever. So yeah. Yeah. I even tried a single sheet just to see if it would do it. And it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it has a hard time. We don't have, I mean, other than Justin, we don't have anybody else around here to look at. Them. So, um, other than that, I think it looks fine. So then we go to the, the gift fund, which is Before 93. Before we go on, I want you guys, especially Lord and Crystal, to look at the salary schedule that's there. Because well, I had, I had, input changes well we kind of went off of what was last year so right. we have a vacant spot right now for the admin clerk homebound driver correct yeah. yes and then you have mental that's half time now and then you're going to want a relief driver for 25 hours per month yeah and then you have 180 hours in there for a relief work. But I think the commands were really the that sense. Yeah, she's kind of our go to. So, person. you know, the different two would combine. You know, I noticed. Correct. I noticed that under the hourly rate, it, it says 9.75. For, For the drivers. Right. Where it was at $9. And as I 
talk to you about. Anyway, uh, we act, we had people come in and ask what that position pays. You told them nine dollars, and they uh, said thanks, but no thanks. What is the minimum wage? Eight seventy-five. But is it going to go up? I think that's what Chris is telling me. Okay, the nine seventy-five. Yeah, I had put in the budget sheets. I had put in ten dollars, and. Anyway, so else? back to the scenario on the front page, you're only within three thousand mm -hmm. dollars of being in violation of the four percent. Yeah. So if you put that nine seventy five up, that's going to reduce that to barely be in compliance. And I already had to increase the PILT revenue coming in. By thirty thousand PPO in the black. Well, actually, more than that. This year, we're transferring one hundred thirty-three thousand, and by all your figures, I'd have to transfer one hundred eighty-eight thousand. Wow! Year. Wow! And that's one reason why the general fund is so low too. Right, because the Kilman County Senior Center yeah. yeah. The norm is we've been doing 163000 to the senior center, but last year there was a hefty income balance, and with the reduction of this of the services not being available because of the COVID stuff, the hunter community should be more than sufficient. The only way you'd be able to raise like your halftime driver to 10 would be if you did away, or I'm not sure exactly but the relief driver, and then somebody else would have to pick up driving when you need a relief driver. I mean, it's you, it, there's not enough money to do that. Um, Jordan used to drive and I think she used to cook too. Mm -hmm. So she, she cooks all the time. Okay, well, I, I'm yeah. just asking, but to drive, what do you need? Do you need a CDL or no? Uh, just it's a regular, it's just regular truck. Okay. Yeah, okay. I was originally the bus driver when we started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. so, I mean, you need to make that decision whether you would want to do away with either the relief cook or the well, a problem with the driver, or half and half, you know, cut the hours down or something. And then you'd have to let me know. And I don't know exactly what it comes out to because I, I haven't done the math. But yeah, it says right down here, minimum wage increase July 1, 2021 to 975. I didn't look down there. And then what does the federal government want, 15 or something? Oh, yeah, they want 15, but that's for federal, not state. Yeah. It's not 15, right? It's here. Yeah. If you buy a new policy, it's too much. Yeah. I, I don't <laughs> buy one now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So are you okay with this one? You just let let me know. So if we're done with that one, the gift fund is number 93.
So I know that auditors don't like to see a lot of money sitting in a fund like this. Um, they don't expect it to go down to zero or nothing, but um, they like to see that it's being used. So what are your plans for using it? We had, we had no re need to this last year. When we had the advisory board meeting um, last week, the advisory board asked that once we start getting everybody back into the center, mm -hmm. um, to pretty much do either like the welcome back party or start doing all the holiday stuff again. Mm -hmm. And so that's my plan is as soon as we can get everybody back in to start using it for their parties and stuff. Yeah. So do you, do you plan to do like the birdhouse raffle and all the other things that we yep. look forward yep. to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's still a one birdhouse there that Tommy made yep. that, the courthouse one. Uh -huh. that didn't get raffled off because that's when we closed. Oh. So it's still sitting there with some money in the account mm -hmm. uh, waiting so to sell can... more tickets. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll have to remember to buy some tickets. <laughs> and this weekend, Crystal, I, I did find the bingo machine people, and I sent them an email uh, telling them that we have an issue, and we'll see what they do. Yeah. So th this brand new bingo machine, which was uh, actually pay paid by donated funds, uh, <laughs> It has two number 52s on it and no number 51. And then there's a 35 that is. Yeah, the 35. And when you put yeah. the balls in its spot, it lights up a completely different number. Yeah. So it's kind of. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, they brand, need to it's brand new. They need to replace them. And we all know our seniors love bingo and they have been on me about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Believe me, that's. I know. They, they love their bingo. Anyway, yeah. I did send them an email okay. yesterday. And uh, we'll they back to us. Yeah. Reen, if the condenser came out of here, where would it be under miscellaneous services and supplies or or repair? Or I don't know where. It depends on how much it is. Um, if it's over the 3,000, you have to come out. Out of equipment. So right now you have nothing in equipment. And we have a carryover, yeah. so it wouldn't be a problem at least to put some money in there to have authorization. Doesn't mean you have to spend it. It just means that the budget shows if something came up, you could spend it. Okay. And um, I mean, I would put some money in there. Mm -hmm. I would put some money in there. So I mean, the, the replacement for the condenser unit is ten thousand six hundred and some dollars. Okay. But now you were talking about the cares, cares and, I, money, and that would still, be our second choice. Yeah, and I'll I have to do some more checking on that. Okay. So, but do you want to put like twenty thousand in there? Yeah, that's fine. I'm I'm just throwing. Oh, we probably have to put. Yeah, we'll eleven or. Is there anything else that you need this year? The stuff that's in capital outlay, but that's on the budget. Yeah. So you, we could put, um, we could put eleven in for this year. Yeah, and then um, for next year, oh gosh, if we put ten, that would still be okay, wouldn't it? Yeah. See, it just makes it easier for stuff to put it in the budget because it's close to the department of taxation. Mm -hmm. And that just means you have authorization to spend that. It doesn't mean you have to, but then we don't at your end we don't have any issues with overspending or anything like that. Okay. So your ending fund balance clearly has enough money in it to add those items okay. in case it's an emergency. Okay. So we'll add eleven thousand this year, ten thousand for next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know that way, it, you know we'll see because yeah. our money is going to be so short in our general fund too that I don't know what's going to come up.
I don't have anything else to do. Good job. Is this is this is clear as mud to you right now? Yeah. <laughs> It'll get easier, believe me. It will. <laughs> Thank you. But talk talk to um, Commissioner Rackley about if you want to raise ten dollars an hour for your your driver, your half time person, and then you'd have to cut down the hours. Somebody would have to cover some of the other stuff more. So are you going to just keep like the one driver? So I know before we used to have two part time drivers, and then one driver just went out of town. Mm -hmm. No one stayed in town. So are we still doing that? Or are we just going to keep the one driver that we have? I think the one for now. The one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then when we get back home or more where we need that extra driver, then we have to look at it. Yeah. Okay. And then just keep all 100 as our kind of float person. Yeah. Until and if you could email Reen how many city people and how many county people. Okay. That would be awesome. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> you too. <laughs> and we need to have breakfast next month. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled the toast. <laughs> Nine o'clock. Hey, Dixie. How are you? Good, thanks. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, community center is 35 white. Yeah. I put the numbers down so I can remove <laughs> This one was just for this past oh. this year's projections. Oh, nice. So Dixie, I'm looking at the heat. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking in the right place. Last year we spent five thousand fifty one hundred dollars for heat. Five thousand one. Five thousand one hundred and seven last year, but all you budgeted for this year is thirty one seventy five, and then three thirty one hundred for next year. I'm thinking that needs to go up to five thousand on each one. For the heat and power? Um, just heat. I'm just okay. looking at the line uh -huh. item that says heat. And probably the power needs to. Um, so the power, I'm sorry, I, I jumped from that one, but spent 4,000 last year mm -hmm. on power. So it should probably be at least 4,000 for this year. I and, agree with you. Yeah. yeah, and then next year 42 is fine. I mean, Water and sewer. Water and sewer, we spent 33.80. So we probably should be at least 34 for this year. And 34. Oh, the heat, I'm sorry. The heat, I went to 5,000. For both years? For both years, yeah. I'm sorry, I was doing it too fast. And then power, I went 4,000 this year. And then water and sewer, it's got to be at least 3,400 this year. And then 35 for next is fine. Um, 
It looks like there's plenty of foam. Did our phone bills go up, Rain? They did. Okay. After when they renewed the state contract and they got back on that contract, everybody's going up a bit. And we don't really have control over that. Mm -hmm. And for this year in office supplies, I, I, I realize it's your best guesstimate. We've spent 139 and you've got 240. And then 250 for next year. <laughs> well, I realize we'll have to spend some more money this year, probably, because we're probably using some of your supplies from the um, cooperative ed side, mm -hmm. you know, that you do. Oh, no, no, no. Everything that's taken out of here is from the community center. I have to buy another microphone, I have my cords. Right. Um, no, what I meant was, just regular, just office, you know, mm -hmm. like paper and stuff like that. Oh, they, yes, we use the same paper. Yeah, we use the same stuff, so. Repair and maintenance has to go up. That's it, what I'm thinking, that looks low. Yeah, it should be at least 1,200. I'm going the wrong way on this. Not helping the bottom line. What if you increase Well, I'm thinking it's an increase. She's increased it to 240. Um, I was thinking about just putting it back to 200, and then um, next year leaving it at 200. On lease payments, you what increase. Uh -huh. What are we leasing? Uh, probably, is it the dishwasher? No. It what is the dishwasher. Our bill right now is cut in half. The uh, client, our vendor, has told us that he's only going to charge us half right now. Oh, okay. It's a COVID problem. As soon as our business picks up, I'm sure it'll go back up. So okay. That's so why we increased the rent. Okay, but then for next year, you only put 2,000. Mm -hmm. What, do you think it'll go down? It depends on the usage, I, I, I know. Okay, okay. In small equipment. What, were you, what did you put 1,500 in for next year for small equipment? Do we need a computer and a printer? Um, yes, that's that's whenever the new office is formed, we're gonna need those things. So yeah. And then there's a printer over there, it looks just fine. Okay, so it's computer. And then is there a desk anywhere? The desk that belongs to the community center is the desk that I use, and you're welcome to have it. So what will you use? One of the old desks. I'm sorry. One of the old desks. Oh, okay. So actually we need to be putting in a computer for this year. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, Rain, I'm going the wrong way. Good time. Are we gonna reduce the lease payment for this year? I don't know what it, I, I'm thinking 2000 should be enough, shouldn't it? Instead of 22? There's nine months of activity in there for that 1540. Income. Okay. So nine. So right now it's like 125. Mm -hmm. And so we have four, four, three months to go. That's three more. Yeah. So 2000. Yeah, actually, it should. Um, Both years or just this year? Just this year, because she said that he reduced it due to COVID. He might increase it again. I'm, I'm sure he sure will. will. He's just starting to pick up in the fall, so I'm sure he will. Sorry. 
So how much for a computer? Aren't computers about five or six hundred dollars? Yeah, we just replaced one at the senior center. It was about six hundred. Six hundred, and when that was that the monitor too? Yes. So it was a computer and the monitor. Um, probably a, a scanner, desk size scanner. That you need. Okay, those are only a hundred or less. So, yeah, right. so if we put in like maybe seven hundred dollars, and then next year. Um, I'm thinking we lower it down to maybe 500. I'm not even sure that we anything more that they need, but I don't know that. That's all I can think of, so. Yeah, but this doesn't help our bottom line at all. And nothing to do with you, just the general fund. The general mm -hmm. fund is totally out of whack. Okay, and then on salaries, the salary may change too. So that might help a little bit. When a person is half time, doesn't that mean that their first is half time too? It's it's a percentage times whatever their mm -hmm. salary is. So it's only half time in that it's what whatever your salary is, mm -hmm. the per percentage is taken against that and all the other percentages too. Oh, okay. So I was just wondering if that would change too. Well, yeah, all of that would change. The whole okay. the whole thing would change. But we'll have to the yeah, the only thing that doesn't change really is like group insurance because whatever group insurance is, it's half of that amount because it's not a percentage. So we'll, we'll, the commissioners will have to figure out what they're looking at for salary. So, okay. Anything else? That is totally it. John. What is there? There's nothing in here right now. What what are we looking at? I don't know. I think that's why I'm not taking numbers. All my people have done the grill Okay. All about the grill on the stove? Yeah, because the hood's it's backwards. It's what goes down. <laughs> I, I would guess that's expensive. I don't want to guess the same on that. Sure, so it's going to be a capital outlay. Um, it's over three thousand, I'm sure. Can you find out soon? You need what the phone number? The phone number to the people that uh, remember was used to put the together. Okay, so who do we? It could be in the file. Could could you? Well, I thought it was as ABC. Well, he's thinking ABC, but he doesn't. Whoever comes out with services, the fire extinguisher service from Reno. Say what? The fire extinguisher service from Reno. They come out and service it every six months, and it's the same people who whoever whoever installed it. Would that be the same? Is that what? It's a different hood from the original. And that future would involve. I think that would be. So Dixie, could it. you look in the file? I yes. Okay, yeah. great. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to put money in there for that. But everything else in the community center should be good, like the tables and are being restained and you got new chairs and the restaining hasn't started yet. I do not know why we're slow, but they should be starting here pretty quick. Um, the chairs are fine, tables are fine, everything is just working great. Okay. Everything is basically new. The, the coffee maker, there's a um, uh, cherry coffee maker that Core donated to us. There's a new microwave. Um, silverware, knives, 
It's a lot of uh, new used cans and bowls and mm -hmm. everything in there. I think we should be good at it. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah, if you'd look up, if you can I find it, that would be real helpful. Okay, I will do that. All right. Thank you. Done? Yep. Thank oh, you very you're much. You're welcome. Okay, okay. Do you all have a blessed day? We are. We love budgets. I know you do. <laughs> Just like you love budgets. I huh? love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys have a good one. Okay. Bye. Bye. You want to come up? We'll get, we'll get you out of the way. You can get back to work. You're limping. What happened? Sandy fell over the weekend. I pulled my hamstring catching it. Sorry. Okay. She slipped and fell. I caught her. You caught her, but you got you. Yeah, I took the. It was just the set of stopping her weight. The way my leg was, it just kind of did the hamstring. Well, Bill, this is brown, it's just white, one dash 16. I'm glad you said something about the hood, I forgot. Do you have any applicants for any? I have one. I talked to Frank about Bill. He said that Bill's in a, uh, a care facility now. Mm -hmm. yeah, and he hasn't really come to. And they don't allow visitors. Uh, yeah. You're Pay the Unionville caretaker more money. They've had the, the same salary for quite some time, but they're also going to be taking care of the cemetery as well up there. Um, no, I think you. Several places in here where you double time. And you definitely need some different work trucks. Yeah. Um, that is in my deal. <laughs> James put in for a truck, so his older his truck would be available. Yeah. Is that a two wheel drive or a four wheel drive? I think it's a four wheel drive. 
Yeah. Because uh, one of our trucks is a two wheel drive, and that oh, truck has yeah. a tendency to get stuck quite often. I I'm pretty sure that's a four wheel drive. So, what, <clears throat> what were you going to raise? Um, Jim Whitaker, too. Whitaker. Whitaker, yeah. What would you, what are you raising his? Um, I'm trying to get to it. 72. Yeah, but I meant his monthly salary because you also put in there, don't you, for some supplies that he needs? Well, that's not it. That's not included in that. That's why my read, my read and stuff went up. Okay. Because uh, when I divide that by 12, I get 600. A month. When we process his vouchers, it does go mm -hmm. Yeah. The gas reimbursement oh, yes. and anything like that that he. No, that's because I think it was because he was going through a, little, a lot of gas this last year. And if he's going to be doing weeds and going down to the cemetery on his ATV and spraying with the sprayer. So right now he makes 250, right? That, that's his wage. Yes, yeah. That. So what is his new wage going to be? <clears throat> is what I'm asking. I'm thinking 400. Okay. So I'm, I'm just trying really? to figure. Yeah, he's been 250 forever. Since I started here. So calculator. For, well, that's 4,800. So that leaves um, 20. 24 for his gas and everything else. Okay. Because we had discussed it a couple of different times, Carol. Mm -hmm. Well, and he is going to do the cemetery because nobody else can. Right. Or whomever, if, when he does retire at some point. I think he's going to die in the job. But I don't mean it that way. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that that way. So you're saying up 400? He's he's going to move him from 250 to 400. I just yeah. wanted to know what the monthly salary was going to be because we yeah. needs to know that. And then the difference is for any supplies that he would get. So it'd be 4,800 actually for his right. wage, but the difference is I think 28. I did that in my head, but um, for gas and you know, yeah. there's times he has to do other things. So. So, and then we pay him water too. Where does that come out of? Does that come out of this too? No. I don't know whether. Does that come out of? That's a reimbursement. I think it's just a straight reimbursement. Yeah. He hasn't really been submitting. Well, yeah. All I've noticed are the, the gas receipts. Right. He hasn't really been submitting anything for, for the water. For the water. When when the water flow stops. There's this, I don't know, stream or whatever. When it stops and he uses water from his own well to water the Emily, um, the, the, park, the union bill. The union bill. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because there's just not enough. And it depends on the year. I mean, if it's really, really hot. Or whatever. Yeah. He takes care of that park as if it's his own. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. You know, there's. So the 7,200, you did. I would leave that for right now. Mm -hmm. So the uniform expense, you raised that, why? It was 2,200 this year and you've got 26. Because our, our clothing is actually going up. Okay. Um, and I, I kind of, I get these emails all the time through our supplier armor mm -hmm. and I've noticed that or everything yeah. is going up. Everything is it's ridiculous. Groceries, fuel, everything. Transportation costs are going to skyrocket, skyrocket, and then that affects it. What about pest control? There's only a budget of 300 and then we spend 1200. Because somebody up in it's either Grass Valley, I think it's who's using it, but they're they're doing their they're having a pesticide company come out and spray. But they pay for that out of the grass I, budget. I was I just got a big for it's a pest control from um, Sierra Pest. Because I haven't used oh, them, but they I, use a different company. Because somebody sent me something I I have voucher from Sierra Pest that I needed to pay. And I'm pretty I certain it was one of those. I didn't do it. Hmm. 
I haven't seen the Sierra Pest. The only pest one I've seen because they email Bonnie that and she gets the show. I mean, Sierra right Pest now. is in Lovelock all the time. But right. But that's not who Grass Valley no, uses. No. Grass Valley uses somebody out of Wimp. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Sierra <laughs> Pest doesn't go out there. It's Northern Nevada, somebody yeah. that Grass Valley uses. So I don't know who the Sierra Pest control is. <coughs> well, we can leave it at 12. Leave it at 12 for next year. Yeah. And then we control you when he really went up next year for, to 15,000. Yeah. That's because of the union bill. And we're, I keep running short on some of the ball field stuff because I've been adding ironite to our the, the grass there and to here, which is allowing it to stay greener and using a little less water. It's it's helping them with uh, the soils. And that was on a recommendation through a company that we, when we had the fields looked at over there, they said they would recommend doing that would help use a little less water to keep it greener. So, so I did that all that we did that last year and it actually helped a tremendous amount the year before. So this year, <clears throat> excuse me, this year you've only spent $51 and you say you're going to spend 10,000 by the end of June. Correct, because I normally don't buy my pests, my herbicides until March or April or after we get the bid from. Right, right. From but some of that you're going to be using into next year. So for next year, can't we put 10,000 again? Yes. Yeah. Oh, medical first aid supply. You've got 4,500 both years and we haven't spent anything. Just because they're, they're for they, the kits that we buy are usually typically around two years at a time before they expire. I haven't bought them. I'm going to have to buy them this year. But you need to buy them. I'm going to have to buy them this year. This year you're going to buy them, yes. but then you won't have to buy them next year, will you? Hopefully not. So, but I don't know how much they're going to cost between that. You know, what the prices on those I have not looked at them recently. So, could we lower next year? Yes. Um, to a thousand, two thousand. Tell me what. Okay. Okay. Uh, why don't you split it in half? Well, just 2,000, I think, is plenty. Fire, security. OK. So do you have some annual bills coming up for fire and security? Fire and security, that, that was also supposed to help include the alarm system stuff mm -hmm. and also replacing of cameras or DVRs as needed. Um, a lot of our cameras that have been put up in the, in the out, especially the outside ones, have been here since 2015. Um, and consequently, they're starting to, this, the sun and the weather itself is, is starting to take a toll on some of them. So are you gonna spend 20,000 before the end of June? Um, I think of, <laughs> I've actually got a few places where I should um, on this building in particular. Um, I've got a couple of cameras that face more towards the west. So when the, the afternoon suns are coming in, it is uh, burning the lenses. Mm -hmm. So how much is a camera about? Well, they vary. In, and again, the vendors, everything is kind of gone up. What used to cost us 500 now is now costing us mm -hmm. at least seven. And that depends on, on what we're getting. When we first put this, this system together, we went with very inexpensive equipment was wasn't, wasn't the best quality of stuff. And if we spend just a little bit more, we get a lot better quality. So can we lower this year back to 20? That gives you 15,000 more to spend between now and June. But from 25 to 20? Yeah, to 20. And then next year, um, I'm thinking no more than 30. If that. And you guys, I'm just throwing out numbers. If you want to. Well, I'm going to give, give you an example. Okay. So Larry and I have had a conversation a couple of times 
um, that's why I've had a conversation with him in regards to the airport cameras. The airport cameras have been out there since 2015. We've got, we've had several different instances out there where cameras were great, it helped with a lot of things. Well, when a guy kicks in their door. <laughs> where that, that and, yeah. Yeah. So we've also got a new building up there and we need to add cameras to the exterior of that, of that building because we also have a propane tank out there. But I've got four cameras right now that the IR has been burned out, which is the infrared that mm -hmm. gives you the night vision. Yeah. That at night, it's it's like looking at black and white pixels. Mm -hmm. But in order to replace those cameras, I need to replace the DVR. So what are we talking about? Um, a rough figure. I mean, about I 22 grand just to replace, uh, add six cameras and replace four. At the airport alone? Yes. Now you have twenty thousand in capital improvements for cameras too. But I, but I that's, need, that's gone. It's gone. It's I, in it's fact, gone. I went over. It's five. over about twenty five. No, no, can. for next year. I'm looking at next year. We put in twenty thousand. I mean, yes, the, the the big thing about technology is that even our TVs, our phones. After a few years, they're starting to to go out. I'm trying to get the best deals that I can with what we can. But where do we compromise with our with the security of our parks or our buildings? So the airport, why I haven't looked at the airport budget. Why isn't the airport budget paying for well, that? Well, that that is that is I have that. Um, I just didn't have these numbers because we were waiting for the prices to come out uh -huh. to put to the airport for the airport. That was just an example. Oh, okay. Same. Okay. It was just as an example. Well, let's lower. Because remember last year or the year before when I had a DVR go out here, which was 16 grand just all yeah. by itself. Yeah. yeah. No, I know. And but I have one that's, I have one in there right now that is still of an old style, which is one of the originals. Mm -hmm. So if it goes out, we're going to have to have that buffer to go to replace that. But if we lower next year to 30, you've got 20 in for next year and mm -hmm. capital improvements. That's 50,000. I mean, unfortunately. Right. Are you talking about 20 in, in this budget right here? I'm talking about 2021, 21, 22. Yeah, and I'm looking at next year's number because he has he has 40,000. So I was saying lower it to 30 because between the two that gives him 50,000 for cameras and, and stuff. And I also remember there's been a couple of cameras that were vandalized on the outside. Mm -hmm. Park. If more revenue comes in, we can always look sure, at these I, things. I, I understand that. I'm yeah. not arguing with you. I'm, no, just, no, I'm no. just giving you the justification of why my price sure. was adjusted the way it was. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't I, want to be sh short either. No, we don't. But at the same time, I'm hoping that we get some Because I just have to just replace yeah. the senior centers like with orders too. Even. Yeah. So this year, 20000 next year, 30000 How about next year, 35000 for 2020 21 22 21 22 yeah and and i and i do understand the the consequences of, of our of our play with the money but i also trying to, to do things and try to make sure that no you're doing a great job at, at fixing everything and keeping us on top of it all 43. Where are you going to find work trucks for three thousand dollars? These? <laughs> well, I, I see. I talked to, to Mr. Hill about I, that. I'm just, and, they and said, I'm not picking up. You're just laughing. I would I love to, one of those. To, to find you know, better <laughs> trucks, but I also think that if we go to some of these auctions, we might be able to find. Mm -hmm. That's where that's where all the vehicles that we have now came from. You know, they're retired uh, NHP trucks. Yeah. And I think that, like an example, the transmission on, on my truck now slips it's really bad. To replace it is more than what the truck is yeah. actually valued at. 
What are you gonna, oh, what are you gonna spend 11,500 on this year in equipment? Well, I have tools that are getting older and like I, I had a pump last year that was, was $1,700, I believe, that we were using to pump out the pool. Mm -hmm. It just blew up. Okay. Oh, it did really? It's not just now blew up, but it just yeah. it blew up. And I also have pressure washers that just the whole bottom end just blew up out of it. But if they're at 3,000 and they have to go under small equipment, not capital. So I guess I should go to small equipment. You think you're going to spend some? Where are we at? Wait a second, please. So between now and June 30th, you anticipate spending another two thousand dollars for small equipment. It's possible. Okay, and I'm not. Pay I'm just no, asking. I, I understand, and it's possible. And for the reason I increased that a little bit is because I'm, I'm noticing more work that we're doing. There are some tools that we don't have, even though maybe the road department may have the tools, mm -hmm. but they don't always have the people to let us use, like a a small mid roller or something like that that we need to weld. So you have 10,000 in for next year. And then under equipment for this year, you've got 1150, but you haven't spent anything. And equipment is anything over 3000. So if you're thinking that it's going to be smaller tools like pressure washers and stuff like that. Well, some of those smaller tools are like $3,000. Are they? Okay. But are you going to spend, do you think 11,500 of 3000 or do you need to move more money into small equipment is what my question is. I, I can't give you a definitive answer because I don't know when my stuff is going to break. And I, I, if, if it did, in an ideal world, I shouldn't have to replace anything. But if it does, then what are we going to do? Yeah. I mean, just like that pump, <clears throat> that's not going to be, they're not cheap to replace. Um, a one, oh, I see it. A dump truck itself, a one-ton dump truck. And then you've got under... Yeah, okay. I don't have a breakdown of your small equipment. It's just a guesstimate, I think, on his part. Well, I don't know which tool I'm going to need. Sorry. But you know, you I know also one of the other items that I know that we'll need here in the next year or two is a uh, lawnmower. Mm -hmm. Is that um, the zero turn one? That's the, the Gravely. That's been here since before Frank. <laughs> that's a really? Uh, yeah. Well, and you use that a lot. That gets used, yeah. Well, my question, Green, is he's got trucks, dump trucks. <laughs> Have to Those will be vehicles, right? <laughs> or they can go under equipment. Okay. The auditor told us this year it's our decision where we want to. Oh, okay. It's just important that we get them on the fixed assets if it's over the three thousand. How much is the lawnmower that has been here forever? That's an expensive one. Anywhere between seventeen to twenty thousand dollars. That's what he's got on the top of our list. Yeah. I mean, it's very unfortunate that the cost of everything is going up, but our budget is going down. And we can't, it's not something that we can afford to contract out or anything like that. I, But I'll adjust the power if you all need me. Oh, no, no. And I know you won't spend anything that you don't need. You know, I know that you're real conscious of that. Well, I try to be. <laughs> you are. 
it may not always look like it, but <laughs> thank you for sending me those quotes yeah. very much. What are your so the one going to the airport now? Yeah. That's one dash forty two. You just, you just got fuel a few okay. weeks ago. I have not gotten that fuel yet. Yeah, what? I have not received the bill. Oh, you don't yet. know what it was yet. I don't believe my mind. I know. It's just like it figured, Well, you can figure roughly 9,000 gallons times 402 a gallon. So it was going to be 36, 37,000 gallons. Yep. And we just filled that tank prior to that back in August. So yeah. Yeah. I certainly hope not. <laughs> I mean, I, it'd be great if we did. It'd be great if we did because of the more people, action people, going got, on. But at least then you have on. income. I mean, we're not exactly losing money out there, but we're not gaining no. anything. So, what would a bill be? I know you haven't gotten it, but is it like forty thousand? Is it between thirty six and thirty seven thousand yeah. dollars? Yeah. Oh, so if we put forty, that's sixty two. So, couldn't we lower this maybe to sixty five thousand? Yeah, we have to price our full because we cannot pull funds from here to put them out there. So well, price we have to be careful on the fuel expense because I have a look at the inventory changes mm -hmm. too so that affects the overall oh, line yeah. okay. okay he does the inventory mm -hmm. sticker whatever well, as of june 30th and then i have to make the adjustment yeah. and sometimes that can be up to eleven thousand dollars uh -huh. And weed control, you're going to go up to 2500 for this year, and you haven't spent anything yet. Really good as far as same you thing, you're about ready to buy a weed stuff. Yeah. What do you plan for repair and maintenance the, to go up that much? The garage. Oh, Next, the little white one? Correct. To re roof it and, re and redo the siding. Yeah. Um, and that was the lowest bid that I came across was that 35 grand. The uh, and that's with the metal roof and stuck inside it. Any idea what the roof on that one's going to cost? Oh, um, for the metal roof instead. Metal roof. And the reason being now, every when this building was originally done, the codes were a heck of a lot different than they are now. And they, they, everybody I talked to, I talked to Alpine, I talked to, um, God, what was his name? Anyhow, the people that did the community center out in there, and I also talked to renovations who's been doing the, some of the other work for us. You can't put tile roof on that, I mean, a shingle roof, three tab or otherwise, because the pitch is too little. Yeah. So that's why they all recommended the same thing of going to a, a corrugated peg metal roof. Um, it'll, it'll allow water to shut off better than the, the one we just want, but it has to be resheathed no matter what. The yeah, any idea, but any idea what it's going to cost to roof that building? Just to roof it? Yeah. It was a, it was an actual a complete metal um, somewhere in my office. 5,000? Oh, no, it was, it was more than that. To do the whole thing was 35 to do this. Holy, that little garage? Whoa. Whoa. So didn't we get CARES funding for the airport, like 26,000 or something? We had 20,000. 20,000. That's what's left of it. So That's what? is that we got 20 no, total? No, we spent some of so that. We did spend some. We spent some of it to do the fuel maintenance on that the 3,000 something. Yeah. And that's the one that so far has not hit that. It, it was charged somewhere else. Well, I, it, 1,900 is, well, there's 1,899 charged here. And I still need backup to submit that for grant reimbursement. 
for any anything that is that. So we have not received all that twenty thousand because it's a reimbursement. It's a reimbursement, yes. So and that's what she's saying. She's missing receipts and mm -hmm. can't yeah. ask yeah. for the reimbursement. So Until you get some receipts. receipts. So that's where right. are the receipts? Who's got the receipts? I don't. I don't know what they're for. The three thousand something for the oh, fuel. from B F from B N T. It's what B N T for the fuel. Yeah, that, but that was already submitted. That's been paid, but what yeah. a, the question is, is where was it paid from? BNT is the vendor. Yeah. Because there's only $18.99 that's been taken out of this fares grant. So where what line is? Oh, there that one right there. Okay, I see. <clears throat> I mean, you guys are looking at different stuff. I can't even follow. So my question is. What are we going to use the we, rest of the money? We, road department is going to tear down that uh, building that should have been torn down 20 years ago. Uh, and, and it's not going to be 20. It's going to be at least 10,000. What building is that? It's, okay. it's the old Beacon building, which is over by the old Beacon. It, oh, I don't have a clue. It's, so at, the, it's at the end. So the, and the, the over tower's right. here. Yeah. There's a little concrete. Yeah vault looking building yeah and, and dan's looked at that so it, but that could come out of that funding and then also at the same time he's going to make a like a truck turn around in front of the gate that kind of thing uh so he's he's going to use three quarters of that okay this 1899.91 is a b and t and there's also one for 1747.83 is what? that what we're missing the back of one? I don't have copies of anything to submit through it. Oh, either one or the B and T's. No, okay. Have. So that should be easy to get, shouldn't it? Yeah. Their invoices. Yeah. And then so that's two. Well, we must have already gotten some for the 189991. Or you wouldn't have paid the bill. I haven't, no, I have not requested a drawdown on that twenty thousand yeah. dollar at all. Okay. So basically, when I get back, I'll look at both of these BNTs. You need what the check? Oh, I'm gonna have this check stuff. in the invoice. In the invoice. The side of the check is So I'm sorry, Larry. How much do you think the road department is gonna charge back? I don't know, but it's gonna be at least ten thousand. So that would leave five, at least five. That has and does this have to be spent before the end of June thirtieth? It does not. Okay, so it can carry over. To no, next that money year. is there for four years. Okay. Because I was wondering if you could use some of it for that building or something. Well, that's why I was asking how much for that. Uh, for the roofing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. we need to have a uh, a meeting out there with John and I and. Uh, two members of the advisory board and figure out what's the right thing to spend maintenance wise. And then our, I'm just curious, because when I was on the board, we talked about refurbishing that jet. Have you guys talked about the-, the What's the his name? name? The, the pilot the, Oh, the airplane. Yeah. The, the pilot lounge? No, oh, the, oh, 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 the main? The main. All people oh. supposed to come out with some people and do that yeah. a number of years ago. Yeah. yeah, and that never happened. It never did happen. And the Boy Scouts, I had checked with them at that point, and they said they could help. The and then Boy, the Boy Scouts? Scouts? Yes, sure. but the Boy Scouts, this was a few years back, and then they kind of are doing somewhere. stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, it would be nice if we got a plaque that explained its it history. Would, it would. And then... Well, yeah. Albie's the one that has all the information anyway. Yeah, he's he the does. One that the and then he had some kind of chemical or material that you scrub on it that would bring it back. Yeah. Um, uh, Albie did? Uh -huh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he, he said, yeah. Yeah. But this has been, it's been four like, or five like, years. It's going to be nice just to get the tires aired up. <laughs> well, I don't know if they even will there at this point because they've probably been. Put, put that goopy stuff in it. Yeah. Goopy That's, stuff. <laughs> yeah, slime, I don't know what don't it's called. It's slime. Help. Um, they're probably way past line. Yeah. So I might as well just lay this at one now. We're almost down to grant match. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I got an email from Armstrong this morning. 
the $10,000 match that Lazy has in there, which is great. That's the match for uh, the design project that's going on right now. The, uh, the kicker here is right after the next thing up in 2022, after the design, they're designing taxiways. That's a $3 million project and county match is $200,000. Boy, I don't see any gasping. She gasped. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so, huh? I don't know how we're going to do that. I, know, I have some, some, some ideas, but you ready? So the $10,000, this is from Chris, the $10,000 match for this year uh, will not be required since all the FAA grants this year were 100%, they paid for 100% or are going we're to pay for money in there because we have to pay for some things before yeah. we print the work. Yeah. But what he goes on to say is, and I, what I was really worried about was the 200,000. And he says regarding that, uh, da, 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 da. he doesn't anticipate the grant being issued very early in the year. Most likely it will be mid to late summer. That's summer of 21. Huh? 20, 21 or 22. He's going to be done with that. So what do you think, Lacey? Is that 21? But well, here's what he says. The current grant, so it can't be like in it's Here, he goes on to say, we probably won't need much local grant money uh, until July of 22. And I'm sorry, what is the project that we have to promote? The taxiways. Taxi the taxiways. Yes. Okay. It's a $3 million. That was in too much. Show. We're awarded the grant, but we have to match it with $200,000. Yeah. Maybe. We have then, to, they always have a match. We have matching to come up fund. with the money before we get the grant or after? We no, get after. The grant. Yeah. So, so we're looking at 22 23 budget. Right? Yes, we are. But we still have to that. But we're still going to have to put it in there. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a little hard to put it in there when you don't have it. But and it doesn't look very promising. Why? So I have a, an idea. Is since nobody here is from Right Patch, we have $100,000 in this for Right Patch for the building. Mm -hmm. We talked last week about not doing that again. So we're going to put it off. So that $100,000 stays there. If we end up needing it for uh, grant money, at least there's some money. I don't know if you can do that or not. But. So I'm I'm sorry. We need two hundred thousand for twenty two twenty three. So we don't need to put anything in for twenty one twenty two, do we? I would leave something in there because you never know when a war yeah. happens. No, yeah. but I meant we don't need the two hundred thousand dollars. Oh yeah, okay. But I, I agree with Lacey, we need to leave that 20 million. Yeah, no, yeah. I was, I'm okay yeah. with the 20. I'm just asking about the 200 or 100 or whatever. When is the lighting supposed to take place? The new lighting. They don't, they don't include it as far as word, but you'll have new lighting in the 2022 project. So when you did the hangar agreement, what were you looking at as far as rent for the hangers or however the agreement was? Because I haven't Not seen Not very it. much. And you mean the two that are there? Yeah. 500 a year. Okay, and then so it's not is uh, Keith Odell's plane still there? Are those planes still in it? No, Keith Odell, his plane. His plane is still out on the ramp. Uh, I talked about that with Hugh Montrose not very long ago. Apparently, he has a, a son. Hugh doesn't know him. Uh, and what he does with that plane, 
they don't know. Well, they need to move it or something. It's not. Yeah. It's movable if you tear it apart, yeah. That's it. Why does it have to be removed? We're well, not... you, I, eventually, you can't just leave it there forever. Yeah, it's been stored there. It's been there for quite a few yeah, years. I, yeah, I know. But I mean, at some point. Yeah. At mean, some point, but it's not a it's, money generator. No, and I, but it's, it is at some point. I mean, we, I mean, what happens 10 years down the road? The plane's still going to be there? I mean, no, it Don't needs know. to be. I think. You know, will, will Keith, they we just lost Keith a couple of months ago. So <laughs> his son apparently is going to do something with that plane, but I yeah, don't no, have the particular. Yeah, I'm just saying it shouldn't be there for a long time. Yeah. Like the MIG. Like, well, the MIG was donated and it was, it's a Russian MIG from World War II. Like, yeah. It's yeah. Quite a history. Korean War. It's got it, more history than Yeah, that. but it needs to be. Um, Stuff a little bit and like a flash or something that explains well, it's out happened. in the open, there's nothing covering yeah, it. Both of them are now. Well, Keith's plane is uh, there's somewhat of an, a cover on the inside to keep the inside better, but it's not perfect. Maybe if some son will donate it, we can sell it. I'm just throwing. It. Yeah. I mean, even if we got a couple thousand or five thousand or anything, this is bad because this comes out of the general fund. The two hundred thousand guy. <clears throat> I knew that would get you. Is that a whole <laughs> answer? Is that just that the one at the the Reno side? The what? The south side. The, the taxiway is that going to be just at the far end? On the south. That's what they're designing now. And then that'll be followed by the taxiway to the north. Doesn't the but that's state, not a three million dollar job. Doesn't the state have a grant program? And I can't remember the guy's name that I used to talk to. Kurt. Yeah, it sounds about right. So don't they have a grant program or something where they help? They help have out one that comes out every money. year. <laughs> they have one that comes out every year, but most of their grant funding goes to McCarran and oh. uh, and Rena. Or, or read or whatever it's going to be called. Very read hope not. I hope not too. We've gotten a little bit the last two years, I believe, but it just goes back against our, you know, tell yeah. yeah. But it, yeah, it's not. It's not two hundred thousand. No, it's not. No. And I, uh, I, I misspoke. The North Taxiway twenty twenty five, and that's uh, two point. Four million. The same, the damn near the same length. Yeah. Well, that left the cells up there. <laughs> well, we might not be able to do it, period. You know, that's the same. Oh, you can't throw away $3 million projects. Yeah. They're finding money somewhere. I already gave, have, I already gave you that. It. So, um, you got to find money for law enforcement this year. Yeah. We're having trouble with that. Holy cow. I just wanted, I mean, that's not today, but it's. No, thank coming. you for warning us. Okay. Now, Judge Stevens was here and then she left. Uh, she's trying to squeeze in. I think I told you she was. Yeah. She said she had to close Anything else for me? No, thank you, John. You're doing a great job. Thank you. I wish we had unlimited funds, but we don't. Oh, yeah. 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 Do you want me? I'll go to see if that's not something. Great, thanks. Can Sheila, can I speak with you? I knew I should have got brought a Dr. Pepper with me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, and somebody has to load them. 
you know, that's the other thing. Somebody has to keep the inventory in the machines. She's back in Portland. Oh. Or okay, great. So we could, we could do, do a rye patch for the, um, oh. the health, which is oh. the one dash 32. It's a small one, and most of it is. It's just two which, which one do you say, Rick? One dash 32. That has a lot of the unfunded mandates in it. Oh, great. Which we have no control over. So the Child Protective Service and the Consumer Health Inspection, those are amounts that come straight from the state permits. And normally we pay the health officer. My brain is 50, yeah. That's what I was coming up with, but I thought, is that right? Um, $50 a month. And then we've been paying her extra out of that too. Yeah. What's what all's in the, the remittance to outside government? The forty thousand. The what? The health nurse. We pay a portion of her salary and benefits. Oh, the forty thousand. Contract for the actual nurse that we pay to the state. Yeah, and the problem with this is the state health department is so screwed up. They've lost their grants that was paying for a big portion. Yes. Of this. And so now they've turned So now they will after be after us to pay more. Yeah. Well, we've always paid about the same amount, but we get less and less coverage. Yeah. But there was one year that we didn't hardly, it wasn't very much at all because they had some really good grants to cover, but because they didn't administer them properly, they lost them. But yeah, it's, if you look at the activity, it was quite a few years ago. They see that doesn't expire. That there could be an increase for next year. I couldn't find anything either, so I just used the same amount. Usually they'll spend, well, they're always kind of late on coming up that contract. So I guess I should go back a little bit. It's been a couple of years She's coming every Wednesday, unless they pull her off, which they've done that, but it's pretty much been every Wednesday. So we're looking at number um, 32. We're looking at number 32 in the way. That was close, John. I didn't pick it out the door. She's been using it on you. I heard my hand, I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> Good <laughs> arm. <laughs> yeah, it's got one of those shoplifting caps to it. The other one we could look at is one dash twenty five, which is the juvenile area in the general fund, and it is mainly state. So on this one, on the help. 
these are all state <coughs> unfunded mandates that mm -hmm. come to us. The only thing that's in here is Cheryl's salary, which is 24 hours, I think, a week. And then there's really no increases. It's just very little, but the, the big part is those unfunded mandates. Mm -hmm. They were talking about raising the China Springs in, well, now, in the legislature. What I got in the final revenue numbers the other day, it's going to be 11813 for next year. So I'll need to change that and lower the 12 to 7. 11813. Number 25, did you find? Number 25 in the summary. Um, this is what they bill us for China Springs. Is that what it is? Yeah. And we have a tax rate yeah. to cover this. Yeah. But the legislature was talking about raising that. So, so the, the gonna, tax rate. They're going to give us that. Oh, the tax rate? Mm -hmm. They were talking about, I don't know if it's going to happen, but there's a bill out there. But if we're already, we have no wiggle room, how do we raise the taxes? I've done it wrong. It is, according to the final revenues, it's 0 0.0036. Last year it was 0 0.0035. Okay, so just that. So, you know, it's just that one. So that revenue comes in and then it just goes back out. Yeah. So, just to in and in. So the restitution expense, what is that exactly? That's for if they have a restitution case in a juvenile, mm -hmm. they'll make that. I guess, I don't know how it actually works, but if they, like one year they, somebody did something to the clock tower. Mm -hmm. So they charge that juvenile and that juvenile had to pay for it. So then it comes in as a revenue and a general fund and an expense. Okay. So we, in and out. we aren't charging juveniles restitution? No, we are. Yeah. Yeah. So like so for they, instance, they when they come in and pay us and then we and then pay whoever, they're not paying the person. We're they're paying, paying. Yeah. Oh, but this is just a This is a offset by what they give us. Okay. Yeah. We have to have a revenue or an expense point to pay out to do that. And then the other three items that have the SU and those are all state unfunded mandates that we're going to be for several years later. So, do we send any young people to China Springs? No. I don't think this so. This just supports it for the whole because, state. Yeah. We have. We are, we have the, mm -hmm. we have the Churchill Church, agreement. Churchill and Elko. Mm -hmm. and Where we, we pay $300. On top of the, the China Springs support, mm -hmm. which we don't use. Correct. It's a state unfunded mandate. Yep. Well, it's not unfunded, it's funded by tax yeah. Well, so yes, but it yeah. keeps the money that. from but us. But we still have yeah. to pay. Well, we still have to pay, but we don't even, to benefit from. but we don't use it don't we sometimes play them in football if, or basketball if we were to use it <laughs> it would have to be oh okay if we were to use it it'd have to be a kid that was but, really yeah it's a long-term facility and yeah. we, we've never had anybody that yeah. needed to go there it's not like an overnight at juvenile no it's jail or prison prison yeah kids. it's big time stuff so do we want to do rye patch fire department or what do we want to do? She's supposed to be coming. Oh, is she? I yes, saw... she asked me and I, I told her 1030. I saw her over the weekend somewhere. I haven't heard since she booked the, the appointment if she's coming or not. 
And I don't remember where I saw her, but I said hi. So ten thirty. Well, should we look at law enforcement before it gets here or something? If you want to. Well, I don't know what everybody wants. And they've left. I honestly cannot go to see the key part of Kevin. Yeah, I haven't. And like I said, I received it at 9 30 Saturday night because yeah. I was just my to get it at So, can you tell who's on there? On Zoom. 